Welcome back 655 right now and we want to get you ready to head out the door with these top stories on this Wednesday morning. Small business assistance application for financial help are open in Decatur. Find the application on waytv.com. Well, Huntsville area COVID briefing. It happens today at noon. Crestwood Medical Center CEO Dr. Pam Hudson and Kinsey CEO John Howell will take part in that update. No mask mandate. Madison County Schools turning to a mask preferred system starting today. A hearts on man. Investigators say use social media to hire someone to kidnap and rape a Wisconsin woman headed before a judge. Matthias Mann will be in court at 930. A Decatur man will learn today how long he'll spend in prison for killing his teenage girlfriend. Prosecutors requested the maximum sentence for Bernardo Matias. And the Nick Reisner Act, a Judiciary Committee expected to talk about that bill further today. It would get rid of good time served for people convicted of violent crimes like manslaughter. Federal child tax credits. Alabama lawmakers will discuss a proposal to exclude that money from federal income taxes. And we're tracking clouds moving in throughout the day, but despite those clouds, high temperatures in the upper 60s this afternoon. We're quiet today, all eyes still on Thursday. All of North Alabama now under a level two risk for severe weather, heavy rain, damaging winds, and a few spin up tornadoes possible. One last check of that seven day forecast. A big cool down Friday. With all eyes on tomorrow. We'll have the latest for you on midday at 11. Well, we hope you enjoy today. Look how beautiful, beautiful, out beautiful it is sky. outside. Thanks so much for joining us. Good morning, America's up next. Megan and Carson back in 30 minutes with local news and weather update for you. I'll see you then.